Right, so the rest of the collection is um, arranged in a systematic manner. So that's based on the, the chemistry and the structure of the minerals. So we start with native elements, and the first native element they have here is gold. And you can see here a selection of very nice gold specimens. Some of them, such as this one here, are models in brass of original nuggets. So um, that's not real, of course. But then you have other specimens here. This is a beautiful piece of, of milky quartz with gold from Cornwall. Mm, and I was, I was admiring that piece earlier this morning when I was looking through the collection. Really nice. And you can also see the, the variety in colour in natural gold. Because obviously, um, when you have gold which is processed, you have different alloys with different amounts of silver or copper or, or nickel or whatever else is added to it to change its hardness and change the colour. Mm -hmm. So, in natural gold, often has mixtures of other elements in as well. Often, for example, palladium is, is found within gold. And often you'll find that lighter gold, like this, tends to have more impurities, whether it's palladium or mercury or silver or something else, and you'll find the colour is lighter. Beautiful. And then sometimes, so that's from Transylvania, mm -hmm. which is, well, you, Romania now. Mm -hmm. Whereas this gold here from Siberia is much more of a rich natural gold colour than mm -hmm. we were used to. Mm -hmm. So that's gold, and as you say, we can carry on. Silvers, some nice wires. Yes, one of the one of the problems, of course, with silver is that silver is um, always going to tarnish mm -hmm. when it's left out naturally. Mm -hmm. so, so everything here in the collection has got this natural tarnish of uh, silver sulfides, which mm -hmm. have. Um, which in some ways they protect the silver underneath, but then they give it this dark, sort of ugly... Uh, Almost black appearance. Yeah, some of the black appearance. Yeah. You can actually remove it very, very quickly with chemicals, but uh, obviously from the museum's point of view, they just leave them as they are, yes. as exhibits. Mm -hmm. So it somewhat detracts from the aesthetics of it. Mm -hmm. But there you have silver here. This is silver with copper from Michigan. And obviously this has been lacquered to protect it, so in this particular case, the silver has uh, not tarnished. A so-called half-breed. Half-breed, indeed, yes. And a very nice piece of it. Mm -hmm. This is one I particularly like, this Michigan silver here. Mm -hmm. And it's... You have to rotate around it because it's such a beautiful 3D mm -hmm. structure mm -hmm. of silver. Mm -hmm. Fantastic.